Hey there, this is Laura and in this video you will learn the best tips for adding beautiful charts to your Notion pages. But first, let me tell you that out of 5 different apps I tried to create Notion charts, only one was able to create charts using relation properties. I will leave the link to the exact app I'm using in the description box so you can directly start using the best option out there. Let's add a chart to this finance template. So I first click duplicate to add it to my Notion dashboard. And you can find the link to this template also in the description box if you want to check it out. This template already has a section to display a chart. But even if I add values to the database and click the refresh button, nothing will show because first we need to connect our Notion account to the chart generator. You can do this by clicking here or using the link I will leave in the video's description box. It will take you to the main page that looks like this. Click login and use the same Google account you use for Notion. After that, click connect to Notion. A window will pop up and you can click select pages and select the one you want to pull the information from to create your charts. Then click allow access and it will take you to this main page where you can click create chart. It will give you all these different options. You can change the chart type later. So for now, let's pick this one. In the next window, if nothing shows yet, just click refresh and boom, you will have all these options. So let's pick expenses to make a chart for that. I will select money bucket for the X axis and amount for the Y axis. Then just create the chart. It will show you what we have in the database and here we didn't have much so before continuing with the coolest part let's go add more transactions to the database. I will add one more for every different money pocket or column that I want to use. Now that I have all that I click here to go back and then I access my chart again. And there it is now it will show all my different columns. And here comes the part of making it look beautiful. The secret to that is to use a great looking color palette. So to accomplish that effortlessly, we are going to use this site called Coolers. I will leave the link to that one in the description box as well. Here click on the exploring trending palettes and it will take you to this page. Before you pick a palette, let's go back to our chart and check how many colors we will need for it by counting the different bars. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now that we know that, we go back to colors and click on the search bar and select 8 colors. Now you just have to select the one that you want. So let's go with this one. Here all you have to do is click on the first color and it will automatically copy the hex code to the clipboard. So now we go to our chart and start replacing the colors. To do that, just click on each color, delete the old one and paste the new hex code. Repeat the same process and for the last two, if you don't want to repeat color, simply click here and add another one. And now that we have it looking exactly how we want, we can play with the other styles and see if we want to keep the one we selected or change it. Here you can also change the name of the chart or hide it. In data labels, you can select different options and I like to go with value. You can also play with the colors for the background like this. And you can even change the values you selected originally to produce the chart. For example, we can change it like this. Then in this one, that is the amount. If I click here, I can select a type. In this case, it's money. So I click here and select currency and then USD. You can also play with the order in which you want the values to be displayed. For example, if I click on amount and select ascending, it will be displayed like this. Once you finish designing your chart, let's take it to Notion. To do that, simply click copy link and then turn on share to web and click copy. Then go to the Notion page where you want to display the chart. For example, if it's here where I originally had the space to show a chart, what I do is click on these dots over here and then select replace. Paste the link in this little box and hit embed link. And ta-da! If you want to place a graph somewhere else, all you have to do is create a new empty line in your page and then paste the link to your chart. Select create embed here and there you have it. 
Now let me show you what happens when you start modifying the data in your tables. For example, let's say you update a number. To reflect that in the chart, just click refresh and it will show the changes. Whatever else you continue capturing in your databases is now automatically linked to your chart and it will show up when you refresh it. Now that everything is working, I can delete all this random data and start using my template with real expenses. You can create one chart completely free and if you decide that you want to create charts for every single database in your templates, like for example the money pockets or income streams, then all you need to do is click here to create a new chart and upgrade to the premium plan. This is only $4 a month for unlimited charts, so it's pretty amazing. If you want to know how I use this Notion template to track all my finances, check out this video next. And I will see you there. Bye!